So I got into a little bit of a debate, a little debate on Facebook. Someone posted on Facebook or, or post a question, is it possible to be sinless here on earth? Is it possible to, to not sin here on earth? I posted an answer or I commented an answer and a, and a gentleman um, replied to that answer. And we were talking for a little bit and it kind of breaks my heart to, to see that there are people out there that think the way that this gentleman thought. And he was, he was a, a Christian or a professed Christian and he didn't believe something about God I'll tell you guys in a little bit but basically is it possible to be sinless on earth I mean this might sound like a trick question but you know we've talked about this before but we're gonna get into it in a little bit right now I gotta go to work so make sure you guys stay tuned it's very very important Jesus says in Matthew 5 verse 48, Be ye therefore perfect, even as your Father which is in heaven is perfect. Now this is a command. And a lot of people think, wait, a lot of people when they, when they read this, they don't know what to think. I mean, it's plain and simple. Jesus said right there, be perfect. Plain and simple. The problem is, Romans 3 and verse 23 says that we have all sinned and come short to the glory of God. We've all sinned. We're, not, we're all not perfect. But Jesus Christ here is saying, be perfect. So it's a command. So in, in, in a sinner's mind, in the human mind, we're probably thinking, why would Jesus Christ command us to be perfect and we can't? There's a dilemma there, right? There's a dilemma. Jesus says, be perfect. But then the Bible also says that we're all sinners. So how can we be perfect if we are all sinners? And the solution is very, very simple. We have to realize what Jesus Christ came here to do. Jesus Christ came here to restore us. Jesus Christ came here to make us perfect. So how can we be perfect in our fallen state? Let me tell you guys how. In Acts 1 verse 25, the Bible reveals that Judas fell by his transgression or by his sin. So by his sin, he fell. In Hosea 14 and verse 1, we have this concept that People will fall by their iniquity. You guys can read those verses. It's right there, clear, simple. The Bible says when we fall, it's because of our sin. So we're in a fallen state because we sin. Now go to Jude chapter 1 verse 24. Unto him that can keep us from falling. Unto him that is able to keep us from falling. The Bible says that God can keep us from falling. Now here's, the, here's where faith comes in. Do you believe that verse? Do you believe that God can keep, keep you from falling? This faith problem goes way back from the beginning with Adam and Eve. What did the serpent ask Eve? Or did God really say that you're going to die when you eat this fruit? And then Eve said, yes, God said, you know, th these are his words, that you are going to die when you eat the fruit. And then the serpent said, no, you're not surely going to die. Go ahead and eat the fruit. There's a faith issue there. Either Eve is going to believe God's word or she's going to believe the serpent. The problem was Eve did not believe God's word and she fell. Do you guys get that? Eve did not believe or did not have faith in God's word and then she fell. So she fell because she did not believe in God's word or she did not have faith in God's word. Now go back to Jude 24. Do you believe that God can keep you from falling? Do you have faith in this word? This is the word of God, right? Do you have faith in God's word? Do you have faith that God can keep you from falling? So this is what saddens me about the person who made that comment. He said, there is no way that we can be perfected here on earth. There's no way that we can, we can overcome or have victory over sin here on earth. When the word, when the, when the Bible clearly says that God can keep you from falling. You got to exercise your faith. You don't think that we can gain victory over sin here on earth because you don't believe God's word. You, you lack faith. Remember in John 4, when the Samaritan woman was talking to, the, to, uh, to Jesus Christ on the, by that well. And he made her realize who he is. That he is the Christ. He is the Messiah. And then she went to go and evangelize to other Samaritan men, right? And the Samaritan men came to talk with Jesus Christ. In John 4, starting from verse 40, the Samaritan men came to Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ pretty much preached to them. 
And the Samaritan man said, now we believe, not because this woman told us, but because we heard from him, from Jesus Christ. We heard from the source. We heard his voice. We now believe because of his word that he is the Messiah. We don't need signs and wonders. We don't need signs and wonders. We believe by his word. So the question now is, do you believe that God can keep you from falling? Do you believe that you can gain victory over sin, not, from, not because of you, but because God said so? It's as simple as that. God said it, so we better believe it. If we don't believe it, then hey, best wishes to you. But that is contrary to what God said. God says He can keep you from falling. So you're either going to believe it or you're not. So we need to be like the Samaritan men and believe His word. We don't need signs and wonders. Remember, Peter, James, and John was on the Mount of Transfiguration when they saw Jesus Christ Himself transfigured. And He was with Moses and Elijah. And then they heard God's voice saying, This is my Son whom I'm very well pleased. Peter was explaining this experience in 2 Peter 1. But then he says, above all that, we have a more sure word of prophecy. Above the, I mean, yeah, we saw, we saw Jesus Christ transfigured. We heard the voice of, of, of God the Father. But above all that, we have a more sure word of prophecy. That's scripture. Because what you see, you might forget. What you experience, you might forget. So what do you do? You rely on the Word of God. This is your basis for belief, for faith. And if God said He can give you victory over sin, then you better believe it. Because if you don't believe it, then you lost already. So thank you guys for watching. If you guys were blessed by this Bible study, please like and share. Share with your friends, your family, your coworkers, your relatives, anyone whom you know would be blessed by this Bible study. And if you guys are new to this channel and want more Christian content, please don't forget to subscribe and make sure you guys hit that bell. And if you guys want to support this online video ministry and keep this ministry afloat, please pray for this online video ministry and donate at schoolforprofits.tv where we will take the donation money and advertise these videos so that we can spread the gospel. Thank you guys again. Praise God always and I'll see you guys next time. Or tomorrow, I mean. Hopefully, if I'm not too busy.